What's up, you guys? Freddy's 562 with a contest slash random act of kindness I just received. Uh, trying to fit everything in one video just because I think it all mixes together and goes together. So I'm going to start off with the act of kindness I received. Um, this, as you guys see, it is from the Big Island. Yes, so from none other. My boy, the Doom 143, you guys. Uh, he sent me these goodies, man, these treats that are, they're gone. My kids got to it. Um... They're like they're like roaches, man. They could they could sniff this shit out from miles away, man. They they got into my room and they went through my boxes and pretty much ate everything. So he sent me a a little hand, little Hellboy hand. Uh, if you guys if you guys see my channel, I'm a big fan of Hellboy. It's really really cool. Uh, a coin coin box, I guess you want to put it that way, like a piggy bank. And um, really love it, man. I appreciate it. Brother, thank you very much. You didn't have to. Uh, this was out of the kindness of his heart. Uh, he just, I, I just received it, uh, what, like two days ago. So I just wanted to put it in a video. So thank you. Thank you very much, you guys. Check him out. The Doom 143 just hit 100 subscribers. And uh, he's doing a contest too pretty soon. So you guys check him out. I'll leave a link to his um, his uh, channel on the bottom. And um, now... The way this all goes in, it's uh, the service text contest is basically on Halloween. And it's five questions he was asking, which um, has to do with treats. And for me, it has to do with Hellboy. So uh, let me start it off real quick. Uh, the service tech, if you guys haven't checked them out, I am going to put a link from in the bottom too. He just hit 50 subscribers. Really, really cool channel, you guys. Good content. Um, he does a lot of unboxing. Uh, he has toys, comics. He does a little bit of everything, you guys. So, uh, like I said, you won't be uh, you won't be bored on his channel. He has a little bit of everything going on. So, you guys check him out. The service tech. Uh, I, and like I said, I'll put a link on the bottom for him. So, uh, it, it it's funny. This is a Halloween, so I'm gonna try to answer this the best I can because uh, I grew up in a, a really uh, religious home where uh, I didn't start celebrating Halloween till. Uh, out till a couple years ago when uh, my kids were a little bit bigger and they started asking me why couldn't they celebrate Halloween and I couldn't answer them I couldn't answer them and I figured it was just bogus that we didn't celebrate it so uh, now we do we uh, actually do celebrate Halloween so I'm gonna try to answer this the best I can so the first one is your favorite candy um, favorite candy it would it it varies I'm I'm big into chocolate so uh, Anything that has chocolate, like, um, you know, like, you know, Hershey's chocolate, uh, M&M's and stuff like that. Uh, I'm really, I, I like a lot of chocolate, so that's what I would have to go for favorite candy. Um, his second question was, uh, do you go out for Halloween? I do go out for Halloween. Um, I do, I do enjoy my kids having the experience of, uh, going out trick or treating. Uh, like I said, from a religious point of view, uh, growing up, my mom said it was, uh, it, it sounds funny and naive, but growing up, my mom would say that going out on Halloween was equivalent to being a devil worshiper. Um, I really don't see nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's, it's just, you know, the way my mom is and uh, the way we grew up. Uh, it was hard for me to let go of that, but um, I see nothing wrong with it. My kids have so much fun. I don't see nothing wrong in us going out. Um, and you know, it's just having a good time, man. Just, just enjoying it with your family. I do have two dogs that I dress up. I have a, I have a fat English bulldog and then a, a skinny English bulldog. My male's a little bit thinner than the female. So, uh, usually the female, uh, we dress her up as a pumpkin and, uh, the male is more like, uh, we, we, uh, we put little like wolf ears cause his ears just flop down. So we put like, look like if he's a werewolf, I guess. So, uh. Uh, my kids, um, their costumes are just, they vary, whatever they feel like dressing up. So that, that would be that. I know that's a little bit extra. He just want to know we went out, but, um, so that's number two. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, number three, favorite costume, um, uh, for me, I would say, uh, oh, man, I don't know. Favorite costume, uh, for me would be... I, I, you know, one year my kid dressed up as a uh, Spider-Man. I think that's got to be one of my favorite costumes because he, he is my favorite superhero. So I would have to go with Spider-Man. Uh, favorite homemade treat. Um, 
Wow, favorite homemade treat. I would have to go with something. It's called Torejas. Uh, it's uh, something my wife makes. My wife's from uh, Guatemala. So it's it's something that uh, it's kind of like a sweet bread, kind of like maple if you want to put it that way. Um, she does it anytime she has a chance to make it. So it's not like just for Halloween, but uh, that's kind of the only uh, Halloween treat I, <laughs> I could think of that's sweet that's homemade for us. So uh, that would be that. Uh, the last one is best costume if I could wear it if I could pull it off you guys I would totally totally dress up as Hellboy uh, I'm pretty tall so I think I could pull the scene of Hellboy I just never um, never got in a hundred percent into doing it uh, I, I've gone I've gone to a couple of cons before and even now uh, last year for Halloween I was actually at a what is that a kamikaze that fell on uh, Halloween. I think this year they're gonna do it on Halloween too. So uh, I don't know, man. I'm I'm always gonna do it, but I don't do it, and then I regret not doing it, and then it's like you know what? It times pass. So I do have my gun. I do have uh, the right hat of doom, um, the big one that looks like a prosthetic that I could actually wear. But uh, I've never gone through with it. Uh, maybe one day, one year I will do it, but. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's it, and um, and you know what? That was it. Uh, he just had five questions, and um, I'm gonna add to it. I'm gonna give a couple shout outs to some uh, YouTubers that I've been uh, actually talking to lately that are really really cool, and uh, that would be uh, Mark the Shark. Uh, guy's really really awesome. He's under 50 uh, subscribers, and you guys check him out, man. I'll, I'll I'll try to put a link. I'm gonna try to put links in the bottom. Uh, so you guys could check these guys out, man. But uh, check out Mark the Shark. Another one would be a good friend of mine. Um, I've I've been you know I've been chopping it up with him lately. Uh, that would be uh, Mr. Rigo Mortis, uh, eighty six. Uh, he's about twenty away from a hundred, so that's pretty cool. So uh, I'm I'm gonna put those two in there. I know it's not part of the contest. I hope it doesn't affect my entry, but I just want to give a little shout out, man, because I haven't done a video in a while. So uh, just want to throw those guys in there. So. Uh, you guys check out the service tech. I will leave a link for all these people on the bottom. Uh, the Doom 143 service tech, uh, Mark the Shark, and Mr. Rigor Mortis 86, you guys. So thank you very much. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and you guys have a good one.